Okay, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube and Mitzio. And today we're doing Masechah's Erevin, Perek Zion, Mishnah's Hay and uh, Dalin and Hay. I want to talk about Mishnah Hay over here. Mishnah Hay talks about a unique case, an interesting case, where you have a wall that divides between the two Chatzeros, the two yards, and it's made out of hay, the wall. And the concern over here is you're letting your animals feed from this hay on both sides, people on both Chatzar. So what happens on Shabbos? comes out from this mission that on Shabbos, if the animals would, would feed from this hay and they'd make the, the height of the wall of hay less than that fucking for a length, a contiguous a contiguous length length of exactly ten amos. If it's more than ten amos, you made a pure sum. Right? So it's exactly it's one chatzar. And you can't go back, you ruined it now. And you can't use the air you can't use the chatzar. Both set up houses can't use the chatzar because it's one chatzar. The beginning of Shabbos it was two chatzar, so now it's one chatzar and you were not Ma'arif together. However, let's say it's exactly ten amos. So in a case where it's exactly ten amos or less than ten amos, it's a pesach, right? If it's a pesach, right? If it's a pesach, so we learned previously, you can ma'ariv shtei and ma'ariv echad. So the fact, just now on Shabbos, the fact that you have the possibility of making one eruv, even the beginning of Shabbos, right? You had no possibility. You had to make two eruv. You had two eruvim chatzeros. Now in the middle of Shabbos, it's a possibility. Of making one eruv, but you could make two eruv. Does that ruin it for both pe- both people both set of houses that they can't carry from their houses to the chutzner? And it's not really clear, but I would say the answer is is that it's a suffix, right? You can do either way. You have flexibility. You can make two eruv and one eruv. The fact that it's still possible to make two eruv, so therefore it doesn't ruin the fact they made two eruv. And and therefore, even if you had a pesach of ten amos, right, which is going to a pesach, nonetheless. For two reasons. One reason it's a suffix. The suffix, whether it's considered right a place of two eruvin or one eruv. You made two eruvin. It's a suffix, and even and I would say even more than a suffix. It's suffix darabon lakula. But even more than that, I would say that even it's not a suffix. That since technically there's a possibility to take two eruvin, you made two eruvin. That's still extends. It's still possible. So therefore, it doesn't ruin it in that case. Maybe this is obvious what I'm saying, but just to clarify, because Raj Bartanura keeps on saying uh, Eser Amos, and then he puts in brackets Ve'od. So I would say it doesn't make a difference that it has to be Dafka Ve'od. It has to be a Pirza. If it's not a Pirza, the fact that it's 10 Amos and it's considered a Pesach, and you can Ma'arish Tayim, Ma'arish it doesn't make a difference since there's still a possibility of Ma'arish Tayim, so therefore it does not ruin the Arabic Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you on the next one.